Maria says uh, it's running at 2133 megahertz. It's... Uh, that's not single channel, that's running at st standard settings. If you turn on XMP and it's still running at 2133, then what you need to do is go into your BIOS. She says it black screens when she puts the RAM any higher than 2133. Turn on XMP, but manually set the RAM speed to 2666. Start there. And then if that still doesn't work... Bad RAM? Does she have older RAM that she can put in there and try? Actually, an X570 Unify should not complain about 64 gigs of Modern Geek Review RAM. asked her if she updated her uh, motherboard BIOS. Yeah, that's a good point. I would normally just assume that as a given, but I shouldn't, so fair enough. Here's what I would say. You say when you put the RAM any higher than 2133, does that include 2400? Or is that just turning on XMP and trying to run at 3600? I could see 3600 not working. Especially if there, is it a single 64 gig kit or is it two 32 gig kits? That makes a difference. Um, if so, take out two of the six. Does it run with XMP turned on at 3600 with just two sticks? Even if it's a four stick kit, take out two and see if it runs with just two sticks. Make sure they're alternated. Don't put them side by side. Then turn on XMP and set it to 2400 or 2666. And because you can set the clock speed of the RAM separate. From, XMP turns on all the sub-timings. She said she tried lots of RAM kits. If she's tried lots of RAM kits, and is it the motherboard? Maybe. Your BIOS, mom? chip, control, maybe it's a bad CPU. The integrated memory controller is on the CPU, not the motherboard. That's, wow. But it's not it happens open. occasionally. It's rare. It's very rare. But it has to happen to somebody. But it's a 5950X. That's an expensive... AMD will replace it. They will? Yeah. Well, the BIOS is the newest. Well, if the BIOS is the newest, then it's either the CPU or the motherboard. Take out all the RAM sticks except one and try one. If that doesn't work, then different RAM's not going to make a difference. Nope. You've got a CPU or motherboard That's problem. That's why you need spare parts. Exactly, Vicky. <laughs> exactly. So how do you determine if it's the motherboard or the CPU then? You need another CPU. You have to take a CPU out and put it in. And if it does it there, then it's the motherboard? I have... My first and second gen Ryzen test bench upstairs is an X470 Asus ROG Strix-E. That is a $200 premium motherboard. It has new BIOS on it. Works great. Fast. Lovely. Awesome. Ryzen 7 2700. Ryzen 7 2700X. I have both of those chips. I don't have one and then overclock to simulate or downclock to simulate. I have both a 2700 and a 2700X. Those are both eight core 16 thread chips. They are both Zen Plus. They were both bought at about the same time. They both belong on an X470 board. I have a good board. I have quality RAM. When I put the 2700 on, if I want 32 gigabytes of RAM to work at DDR4 3200, now again, you've got a newer chip, you could do 3600 usually. 3600 doesn't work on my first and second gen chips at all. I've got a Corsair Vengeance LPX kit that I use. If I take the 2700 off, and I put the 2700X on, it will not boot. It's true. With XMP turned on. But I have a G-Skill Rip Jaws 5 kit, DDR4, 3200, the both CL16, works great with the, 30, with the 2700X. If I take the 2700X off and I put the 2700 on, it won't. The 2700 wants the Corsair Vengeance LPX. The 2700X wants to rip JAWS 5. 
Whenever people think that I'm being unfair to AMD about its general overall fussiness, no, I'm not. It sucks. The memory controller is on your CPU. Yes, I think that's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. It's still happening on Zen 3. Mm-hmm. Well, she needs to put a different CPU in her system. Hopefully you have a spare CPU that you can put in there. And that may not help you, but honestly, if I'm having a problem, one of the first things I'll do, obviously I'll change RAM first, that's easier. Then I'll go grab another CPU. If you can't do that, you're between a rock and a hard place. And I sympathize. It sucks. I don't have an answer. 